This sermon is brought to you by Bloomfield Presbyterian Church, Belfast. To know Jesus and share his love. The reading is taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Thank you very much indeed, Jacob. And I just love that Bible passage that he has read to us because there are lots of worrying things in the world. There are lots of problems with planet Earth. But Jesus, the maker of heaven and earth, says to his followers, I don't want you to fret. Don't get yourself all worked up in a state of anxiety. Instead, come to me. Come to me, the one who created this world. Come to me, the one who sustains this world. The one who sees all things and knows all things. Yes, it's vital that we do all we can to look after this world, not to exploit it. But neither are we to take all the burdens of this world and all its problems upon our own shoulders. Why? because it's too heavy a load for us to carry. Instead, Jesus says, come to me, everyone who is weary and burdened. Come to Jesus, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in heart. Let me carry the burdens of anxiety that weigh heavily upon your hearts and your minds and you will find rest for your souls. You'll find rest so that you are able to work for the Lord Jesus. Because he says, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Now, the Bible is very realistic. It's not pretend that everything is all right, and uh, there's nothing the matter in this world. No. It recognizes only too well that there are lots of things that are the matter. But the truth is also this. Neither are any of us able to carry all these heavy burdens on our own. In partnership with me, says Jesus, let me carry you through. This is my world. And you know an astonishing thing? Nowhere in the Bible does the uh, does God encourage us to look back and wish that things were the way that they used to be? The Bible instead encourages us to look forward, to look forward to a whole new creation when under God's rule and authority, this entire universe will be renewed and healed and made new. And that's what those who trust in the Lord Jesus can look forward to. That is the Christian hope. And so today, as we give thanks to God for the harvest, for all the lovely things that has been provided for us, and as we thank him for that promise that as earth, long as earth endures, the harvest will as well, so we place our hope and faith not merely in princes or in mortal men, but in the Lord, the creator and the sustainer and the rescuer. Thank you for listening to Bloomfield Presbyterian Church Sermon Audio. For a congregation in East Belfast with worship services at 11am and 7pm every Sunday. For more information, visit bloomfieldpresbyterian.org.